stuff. That is or so. I guess because they go to a bunch of parties. That is Listen, cool. I don't know, but I like that. That is cool. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of energy. That is a lot of energy to yeah. be had. More than one. Co- Listen, I struggle with one costume. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it was really cool. Did you see the videos from the Halloween party they had? Uh, um, a few of them. It was, first of all, what I, what do I have to do to get invited to Beyonce and Kelly's Halloween be party? Famous. <laughs> first of all, I am famous. Don't, don't disrespect me. People know me. <laughs> wow. I get no love on my own show. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm just letting you have your moment. That's all that's happening. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. I didn't know this is what we were doing today. I didn't I didn't know. Okay. You asked, I answered. Wow. I'm exhausted. That was I feel tried. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, what do I have to do to get invited? Can me and John A come? We can cover the party next See, John year. John A knows she's not famous. So <laughs> I understand. <laughs> All I'm saying is we can cover the party next year. I'm not we can have we can. live interviews and everything at the boo what they call it the boo bash. And we can be there interviewing everybody, taking pictures <laughs> of Beyonce. That's all I really all I want to do. I don't care about nobody else. All right. If we go meet Beyonce, I gotta dress up as more than just a firefighter. <laughs> or can't just be a firefighter. Why? Because that's lame. Mm-hmm. I okay. dress up like a firefighter in Kansas City. <laughs> I liked all the kid Halloween costumes. First of all, did you see Baby Mbaku? Yes, he I saw was that this morning. Freaking adorable! Yeah, he was so cute. There were so many Black Panther Halloween costumes, which I expected, but they were all like a one. No, y'all so creative on Halloween. Listen, I struggled to find my one costume. <laughs> I struggled like it. I went to like four different stores. I struggled, so I don't understand this creative costume. But you got to start early. Yeah, no, we already know I don't have the Halloween spirit, so there's that. I I went and got my costume on the day. Uh, oh, on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> so really, that was easy because it was like, mm, let me do selection. No, it still wasn't easy. I'm not saying it, was, it wasn't easy to find something. It was easy to decide because you was like, mm, No, it wasn't know. easy to decide because I didn't know what to be. But my friend had a little Halloween get together and was like, you have to dress up. And I said, well, I, I just can't come as me. Like. <laughs> I was like, you know, I, I was like about to wear my minions onesie. It just be a minion, huh? Yeah. What? Okay, let's go move <laughs> on from Halloween because I can't be great tonight. Anyway, but yes, y'all Halloween costumes were amazing. They were cute. All y'all kids was cute. I enjoyed seeing the pictures. Y'all are creative. And next year, somebody help me get my Halloween costume together earlier so I can be fly. I think I did a pretty good job in yeah. a limited amount of time. I she dressed up like a hippie. She didn't tell anyone. She didn't say that. But oh yeah, I was you. a hippie. <laughs> I was a hippie. I I really wish that my sister. I was trying to find a, a guitar hero guitar mm-hmm. so I could look like a bass player, but it didn't work out. But it's okay. I still have fun. This is like my first time dressing up. Dressing up. Shut up. <laughs> I knew <laughs> I knew it was coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was wasn't coming. gonna mention the Bible. Anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> so that was our first random tidbit. Uh, the second one is Black Ink Crew. If you guys watch, I haven't actually been keeping up with this season. No, I have. Because I was over it last season, um, just with all the dramatics. I just think Black Ink Crew is it's too much ratchet for me. I can deal with a lot of ratchet TV, but Black Ink Crew is a different I level. Like it. I don't think so. They do everything but tattoos on that show. <laughs> I don't but have you like followed them on Instagram? They actually do really good tattoos. No. Whenever they do them. Whenever, they're really good. whenever they do them. Yeah, whenever they do them. They're really good. Both mm-hmm. both Chicago and New York. That's pretty good. I never I watched like maybe the first two episodes of the first season of Chicago and couldn't get into it. Well. I I will watch Black Ink Crew, the New York one, but mm-hmm. I can't it's just too much. It's the same thing every season. See, I watch it now. I didn't like Duchess. So now that she's gone, I like it a little more. Actually, I watched a little bit of that. It's just too much. It's too much. It's like a new level of ratchet. I just can't. It's just anyway. But if you listen to our previous shows, I think at that point we were on the Gravity when we talked about Sky and her. Because Sky's in the in the sister circle. I want to say that was we were in the Gravity at that point. Yeah. Um, Sky, who didn't have custody of both her children, she had them very early. He gave up. Okay, gave up because I was trying to make it sound nice. Uh, well, I feel like you have to say gave up to then tie in her son. Okay, okay. So she gave up custody of her two children. She had them when she was young, like really, really young. And she reconciled with the youngest one last season. 
But the oldest one was not having it. He was over it. They almost got into it physically a, a, several times. It was more than twice. It was the table incident. It was when Caesar came. And it was a, it was like one more. It was it was more than twice. But yeah. But anyway, I didn't watch the episode, but I saw the clip of them finally reconciling. And it, I was like, who is cutting the onions? Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> but I was just wild to well, because I watched the episode, I thought it was really good that the his brother was the one who facilitated it. Aww. His brother was the one who was talking to him and was like, "So, how do you feel about her?" And he and so that's when so Desaline is the youngest Desiline. one, and then Genesis is older. And so uh, Des is what they call him um, was talking, and he was like, "So, how do you feel? Uh, do you ever feel like you can forgive her?" Da 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 da. And so he was just kind of talking. He was like, he he said, uh, Genesis said, it's just a lot. He said, I'm not really angry anymore. I'm just disappointed. He said, I don't understand because she had she kept them for two years or two oh, ish. Both of them. He, Genesis she had for longer. Oh, okay. Because of course he's older. Yeah. So she had she actually had him before she gave him up. Oh. Yeah. So that see I, see you gotta watch the show sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where most of his anger stemmed from was that he was like okay but we were doing this we was we was making it we was together da, 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 before she gave him up and so that's when they were talking and he was like well do you think that you could ever reconcile with her and he said I don't know it's just it takes a little more time than just being like okay come see her tomorrow right but I thought that it was cool that his brother was the one that facilitated it because sometimes you can't have adults yell at you and be like listen this is what you need to do yeah sometimes you need somebody on your own level to be like yeah hey bro what are you doing well and then I see the picture that they have posted on Instagram they look mm-hmm. like well, cute, cute little happy family yeah. I just you know it's weird to see Sky as like a mom. Yeah. It's like, whoa. Speaking of, she was fighting somebody in a school I saw that. yesterday. <laughs> See, that's why I can't watch Black Ink Crew. That's why I can't watch Black Ink I don't Inker. know if that was on Black Ink or well, just I her saw, life. Well, I, well, <laughs> well, her life spills over into the show. Well, she always fights somebody on the show. She actually hasn't fought very many people this season. She fought like one dude. Yeah. We're going to see how long that lasts. How much more season is there to go? I don't know. We in a pretty decent part of the season, though. I don't know, but best of luck to that family. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that, um, you know, she's back in both of her children's life. I hope that they can be, you know, a family. Yeah, I don't. I feel like I said family too many times, <laughs> but yeah. Shout out to them. They can <laughs> shout out to be them. A conjoined unit. Like, <sighs> uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Moving on. Our next random tidbit. Wow. This is like the third time we've had to cover this because they just won't stop. Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. <laughs> First of all, did y'all see Steve Madden tweet? <laughs> it's a what deal? I was like, bloop. <laughs> that was that has- Isaiah came back and said he was lying. See, I don't know though. Like, listen, I don't really care. Cardi B said they can fight or they can talk, and that's where <laughs> I just think it's funny. I I kept seeing a bunch of tweets saying that Nicki Minaj had all this energy for Cardi, but she didn't have no energy for Remy Ma. And yeah. I said, that is the real question. That's very true. Remy Ma wrote a seven-minute song <laughs> demolishing you. Like, just saying mm-hmm. anything you could think of. A seven-minute song. That song was so long. I remember one of my, one of my sisters that came up. We were still at Northwest. Mm-hmm. And she was like, have you heard Sheether yet? And I'm like, nah, I ain't listened to it yet. She was like, we're going to listen to it right now before we leave. She's heard it all. And it was like, Three minutes and forty five seconds. I'm like, she's still going. <laughs> this, seven minutes. It's like there's four minutes of this seven song left. Like minutes. she just covered your whole life in seven minutes. And you didn't say anything. Was you I guess she responded with no frauds, but I like that song. But I don't count that as a response because I she don't, had Drake, there was features, yeah. Right, <laughs> had Drake and Wayne on it, like, no, sis. Mm-hmm. When she said when Cardi B responded and <laughs> said, Miss Chudley, the street fighter, I said, Oh, <laughs> Shade, but I don't care. What nobody say Steve Madden tweeting, saying, <laughs> saying what he that had, that was like. Can you imagine waking up to, <laughs> to a company tweeting? Him? Yeah, <laughs> saying I got to deal with this company. I did this, 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 and the next morning, you, the company tweeted you like it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> like poor Nikki, I just want her to stop while she's ahead. And what cart? Ain't what, no poor Nikki. What? She that's true. Didn't have to that say anything true. at all ever. That's very true. And what what Cardi said is. Uh, one thing, one thing Cardi said that I completely agree with. She said, "You out here tarnishing your legacy, looking like a, like a hater." hater. Mm-hmm. And I said, "That is the most accurate thing I have ever heard." Like Nikki is losing a lot of fans, and a lot of people are just looking at her like, "You're corny." 
you're so corny. All of this because you debuted at number two, or not debuted, but your album was number two. And then, and then I saw another tweet. Is <laughs> people on Twitter are funny? They said, uh, uh, "Can you guys really talk about Nicki when the Carters' Everything Is Love debuted at number two? And somebody said the Carters took their number two in, pe- in peace and still had a million dollar grossing worldwide tour. So Nicki Minaj tour got canceled." And now she on the radio <laughs> crying about For it. Four <laughs> hours a day, girl. Crying about it. Who gave Nicki Minaj a radio show? Apple. <laughs> Apple Music. Apple. Apple. Let me tell you what. You want to give somebody a radio show? I mean, we got one, but three months. Three months. We talk, we we more entertaining than Nicki Day. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> Nicki Minaj for every day. She tried to take. She tried to get us to take Nicki Minaj's spot. Every day she on the same. She on the radio talking about the same thing every day. Sis, you number two. You not popping no more. We like Cardi. Cardi. Cardi may not be the best lyricist. I don't think if if I want to listen to something intellectual, I'm not gonna turn on Cardi B. I'm not gonna turn. First on, of all, what? I'm just saying I'm not saying that she's not smart. I'm saying she doesn't she doesn't make music. When I'm saying oh I want to be fed, like I'm listening to music, some hip hop music. I don't turn on Cardi B. I like, rarely feel like that about listening to hip hop music. I'm saying like but it, like when I want to listen to something, I really want to vibe. Like I turn on Kendrick. Like I love Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Like his like his first albums and his mixtapes, I listen to Kendrick Lamar. I would never. I just got it. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> oh, okay. See, we gotta talk. Uh, I would never turn on Cardi. I'm not about to turn on Cardi. Uh, Bodak Yellow. Like, but Cardi's real. She's she's more. I feel like she's approachable. Yeah. Like I think in that's a sense. why people like her because she ain't. She's it is hasn't switched up. Yes, that's she knows exactly what that she was a stripper. She knows that that's where she came from, and yeah. she says that all the time. She's more relatable, and people love that. Nikki. Yeah. I think he tried to act like <sighs> she switched personas too many she times. She does. That's why I said she needs to get on that starship that was meant to fly and fly far away. <laughs> Cause we're tired. We're we're just as tired mm-hmm. as you are, sis. We're tired of hearing about it. We're tired of you talking about it. That's why Cardi said, "Y'all can meet up. Y'all can box." Said, we they can need to do. Talk it out. And we can fight it. <laughs> they out. just need to do a charity event, like a charity fight. A charity fight. <laughs> like, uh, who was supposed to do that? Hoops and some girl. Hoops and Pharaoh, the girl from Team Mom, but. Oh. Wasn't Bow Wow and Soldier Boy supposed to fight? I believe so. Whatever happened to that? Don't tweet <laughs> Bow Wow because he's going through a lot. But <laughs> tweet Soldier Boy. Don't tweet Soldier Boy either. Why not? I don't just know. DeAndre has nothing to do. Oh. He can tweet us back. Hey, his bop still slap. I was. That's I was, what I'm saying. I was. With, so I was, he should get back out there and slap somebody <laughs> in the boxing ring. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's not doing anything. <sighs> he's not. What is Soldier Boy doing? He's not even on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood no more. Oh dang, I forgot he was on that. I, I only knew because when it came out, I used to go, "Uh, Soldier Boy." <laughs> Every time I saw him, <laughs> Soldier Boy, a bit. Oh, I love Soldier Boy. I don't. I well, I said loved past tense. Oh, past tense. Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant currently. No, I like, love oh. Soldier Boy. Like, Roscoe Dash. Somebody figure out what happened to Roscoe Dash. I was me. just because I love Roscoe hey, Dash. I was just, present tense. <laughs> I was just telling somebody that the other day. I said we didn't appreciate that Travis Porter, yeah. Waka Flocka, yeah. Roscoe Dash era enough. Yeah. We didn't appreciate it enough. I love that. Was a good era. I love that. I just don't understand. And then also on all Soldier Boy songs, he said um, Soldier Boy, some some a rab up next. What happened to a rab? A <laughs> <laughs> rab go crank it up for show. Where in the world is a rab? A rab didn't come up next. You know who else? I have, we should do a where in the world is such kind of show because I have these questions all the time. Y'all remember Rod Digger, the rapper? I know the name. Where in the world is Rod Digger? You haven't heard her or seen her in years, have you? Where in, where in the world is Blue Kent Trail? Y'all remember where Oops. Blue Kent Trail? <laughs> Hit him up style, okay? Where in the world is Blue Kent Trail? I don't understand. Where are these people? Where, y'all come out with these bops. Y'all come out with one bop and disappear for I life. Love like what? Where, the world, where is Roscoe Dash? I don't know. Where in the world is Travis Porter? You know, we need to find out where these people are. I put down a search party right now. We need to find these people. Twitter, we'll do your thing. Follow Roscoe Dash. Twitter, Twitter, do your he thing. He probably doesn't have a lot of followers. Find, oh my God! <laughs> Somebody, 
Kenya said, please do a where in the world because where is Mims? Where is he? <laughs> this, this is he's what... in church. Music saved his soul. He's in church. He's in church? I don't know. Oh. I know. <laughs> I think Maze was in church. This, why is why I'm Mims? this is why that I'm That was hot. my first ringtone when I had a razor. You know in what? His song grade. His song was Latoya Lucky, uh, Love Roller Coaster. That used to be me and my best friend's song. We was in fourth grade singing like our hearts, like we knew what heartbreak was. Mims is doing big things. Where is Mims? Where in the world is he? <laughs> Mims. Where, where in the world is Hitman Sam? Sammy Sam. Y'all remember Hitman Sammy Sam, the stepdaddy song? Where is he at? He wrote one song about being a stepdaddy and disappeared. Roscoe Dash just Where tweeted. Where is he? Did he just tweet it? Oh, no. It's, no, he hasn't tweeted for a while. Just oh, that's what it's saying. Let me find out. No. It's just too much. We we got to do a word in the world show. There's too many people. I need to know where they at. So we, we have one more random tidbit. I just followed Roscoe Dash on Twitter. Okay, well, you let us know where he at. <laughs> tweet him. Where, tweet. where have you been? <laughs> Are you still all the way turned up? Because I... <laughs> He was. Mm-hmm. So Soulja Boy had all the days that bird walk. I mean, you remember that was my, that was my dance. Watch me crank that. Yeah. Watch me crank that bird walk. Okay. All right. We gotta get. We'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be trying to figure out where everybody is for the rest of the show. And then they had the whole crank that era. That was ridiculous. That was. It was crank that everything. It's just too much. Good times. We just need to have a whole throwback show where we just play all the crank that mm. and try to figure out what all these people are. I'm gonna get Rasta Dash on the show. Let's do it. Don't quote that he ain't doing it. nothing else. Come be on the show. <laughs> he's not going to come on the show if we keep saying he's not doing anything. <laughs> he ain't got nothing to say, do. Well, I'm too busy for y'all. So. Is you you too busy being all the way turned up to come, <laughs> c- come sit on our show hey, and talk to us? more than just those hits. What's the other one? Show out. He, I forgot about show that out. song. See? It's just too much. It's too much. <laughs> anyway, we got to move on. We, we, we talk about this all day. <laughs> we talking about the Roscoe Dash. <laughs> Anyway, we got one more random tidbit. Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta premiered last night. Was it se- season 11? Mm-hmm. First of all, why is it? He was on Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay. Wow. Roscoe Dash? Yes. Yeah, he's like, early in the mo- yes, he morning. Yes, That is my favorite when song. When she all alone. That, yeah. Yeah, to this day, that is my favorite song. That is a great one song. One of my favorite songs. That's when I started. I love Big Sean. He had Good Good Night. That's my jam. I don't like all that right. song. What? That's when he started going. I know it's, all the words. It's too much. I write too many first came out. Words. Come on, man. We gotta talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta. We can't. We can't do a where in the world. Let me tell you what. Here. Roscoe Dash is more exciting than the episode was last night. <laughs> that is very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very true. <laughs> um, season eleven, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, Kenya Moore is not a, a housewife. No, but congratulations to her. She had her kid. Yeah, she did. Even after um, she had to be induced, mm-hmm. she had preeclampsia. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad it was a great delivery she had a baby my mom still doesn't think she really got her baby i was just about to say that nobody thought she was really pregnant but okay my mom Uh, still doesn't (laughs) well i guess we'll never know because she's not on real housewives unless she does like that like the 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 season where portia wasn't an official housewife but she was still on every episode supposedly she's on a few episodes towards kenya yeah probably i i I wouldn't i wouldn't doubt it um so yeah this episode i mean there's not much to talk about it was just uh, catching up on Cynthia's dating life. Who, I just, I can't keep up. So she broke up with what's his face and she with a new man that she all in love. Yes. That and was first weird. of all, don't announce to the world that y'all have slept together. I think that's weird. I, <laughs> I think Cynthia, Personally, I think that's weird. I think Cynthia is too old for a lot of things that she does. <laughs> you are 51 years old, ma'am. I just need you to act like Personally, it. Personally, I was just like. She does a lot of things that are very questionable, and I just don't understand. But, you know, I just they don't got nothing to do with me. I was like, excuse um, me, lady. Candy and, first of all, let's talk. <laughs> Riley, Candy's daughter, she she got a mouth. And Candy just, she just say whatever she want to say. And Candy just be like, well, hmm. <laughs> that's exactly her. <laughs> that's exactly her reaction. <laughs> It's like there's nothing. I feel like this season we're just gonna watch Portia. It's uh, this season is about Portia. Yeah. All in all, it's about Portia and Nini. I will say that because Nini and Greg are going yeah. through a lot with his health I issues. I didn't know that he had cancer. Really? No. Um. It was a couple months ago, and Nini had made like this big post. I don't follow her on Instagram, but the Shave Room had posted it, and he yeah he had been diagnosed with cancer. They were in and out of the hospital for like a week or two. Yeah. See, usually when she has long posts and Shave Room posts, I don't read them. I understand. That. I'd be like, ah, I understand. That. Well, she was um. The first thing was like asking for prayers, like mm-hmm. we, like cancer sucks. I it probably was, saw something about that. Yeah, I just didn't um, realize. So I think the season is going to be about them and us seeing 
you know, Greg um, struggle with his health and that, and then just seeing Portia get get engaged and have her baby and all that extra Probably stuff. The owner of the original dog factor. Okay, I just don't. And she said, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna end up badly again for Portia, and I say that because she said, oh, well, on our first date, he told me I loved him, or he told me that he loved me, and I said it back, and it just it felt like he was the right thing to do. Yeah. Since way. Wet. I think that it's a bad idea to get your wedding ring from, from the, the same, same place person you got your ex ring from. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I told my mom, I said, that doesn't sound like a good idea. It doesn't, but who are we? Yeah. Hey, listen, <laughs> who, who are uh, we? We have never been married. Never. This is so, her second one, so she knows something that we yeah, don't know. She's been down the aisle two times. <laughs> I've only been down the aisle to take a in. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm so exhausted with you. I just think, I don't know, I love Portia. I just think that she's very impulsive. And, I mean, in a sense, I'm happy for her because I know she wanted a relationship and I know she wanted a child. But it just happened so fast. Yeah. And I got to question it because I'm like, yeah. did you end up in this situation a couple years ago, sis? I don't know. Yeah. But we, we're yet. But, you know, she's a different person because the way she is now. Her attitude when no. when she first was on the show and she was with Cordell and she was like, mm, I can't do that because he's going to be upset versus who she is now. That's true. I feel that. I feel I'm that. not saying that it's going to change the outcome of her relationship. I'm just saying that it's a different relationship this time. That's true. I feel that. Well, I don't know. We'll see. It's only the first episode. We yeah. got however many left. And we'll keep y'all updated as the season goes on. I'm sure something will happen and we'll have to. I'm sure there will be some Real Housewives of Atlanta Sister Circle inductees this season because last season there were plenty. Uh, so, yeah, those are our random tidbits for the week. When we come back, y'all already know what time it is. It's going to be time for my favorite part of the show, the Sister Circle. You're still listening to Black Degree and Unfiltered. We'll be back in just a few minutes.
You're still listening to Black Degrees and Unfiltered. We just came back from a break, and now it is time for my. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> now it is time for my favorite part of the show. It's time for the Sister Circle. Because sometimes, in the spirit of sisterhood, you just have to read your fellow brothers and your fellow sisters. And they have to come sit in the Sister Circle and think on the things that they have done throughout the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Sister Circle. Why do you laugh every time I do that? Because it's so dramatic. And it has to be. I know. That's funny. <laughs> the sister circle is needed. It's an all-inclusive place. <laughs> it is. It's an all-inclusive place. We got to read these people. You got to come sit and think about the things that you have done because y'all are out of line. <laughs> so we have four inductees on this week's edition of the sister circle. Am I going first? You want to go first? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got it. <clears throat> okay, so my first. Hold on, let me make sure that I got his name correct. Sounds like we weren't ready. No, I was. I was <laughs> ready. I know who it is. I just want to say his government. Oh, I want to say his government yeah, name. I, I want to say his government name. I want to make sure it's correct. I think I know what it is. <laughs> so it is. Well, Clifford. It is. Name is Clifford. I was right. I was gonna say his whole name though. Clifford Joseph Harris Jr. Oh, I didn't Jr. know his name was Joseph. I knew that was what it was. I just had to double check. Just, Clifford, Clifford Joseph Harris Jr. The second. <laughs> Two times. I'm tired of him. Be Better, in the he's both of them, okay? Because I said he was okay. on this show. Most the king of you, of the, South, <laughs> the rubber band man. The, ca- the king. Uh, most of you know as Ti. Uh, he is completely whatever, whoever he want to be. Ti, it, tip, whatever. It? <laughs> I'm tired of him. I'm sorry, I'm He's canceled. <laughs> he is completely and utterly canceled for me. I'm over. I've been over Ti for a long time, and the more and more I watch his show, The Family Hustler, the more I lose respect for that man. It 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 makes me sad because Ti used to be one of my favorite rappers, but I can't I can't even I can't separate the two no more because he's really a trash person. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So my mom's gonna be so sad. She loves Ti. Well, I'm sorry, mom. But <laughs> I can't do it no more. I let it slide for so many seasons, and I can't slide after this one. Uh, so what happened was his his new show came back because you know Ti. What was it called? The Family Hustle. Mm-hmm. Uh, they stopped it mm-hmm. because Ti and Tiny were about to get a divorce, mm-hmm. and that's what we saw the whole last season was the demise of their relationship, and. Uh, it was one particular conversation in the, the season finale of that that uh, that really bothered my spirit. It, it really bothered. It did. Him and Tiny went out to dinner, and they were talking about, you know, him stepping out in the marriage. And he was like, well, you did too. And she was like, well, I don't know how many times I can tell you that me and Floyd Mayweather didn't have nothing going on. Uh, whereas you were sleeping with somebody that I hired. And he said, well, the fact that you would even go to a, a, a function and be somewhere with somebody that, no, I, was, I, was that I was at with. odds with. <laughs> and she was like, okay, but what does that have to do with anything? You slept with somebody that I employ. And he said, but were, were you, you at odds, odds with her? her? <laughs> Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford. That, that, see, that, that, was, that was at were the... You at odds that, was, that was when I started to be like, wow, he's really trash. But that, that wasn't even the... the the straw that broke the camel's back for me was the so they brought the show back yes and now it's called ti and, and friends and the family fa- friends and family hustle and it's ti and tiny it's monica and shannon brown and latoya looking at her and her husband and toya's on there uh <laughs> and toya's on there well she ain't got no husband she's it's a family all right go ahead is on there, and um, family. the one thing that I also think is crazy is that Latoya Luckett and Ti used to date, and now they're all their families are like friends. It's, I, you know, that's some Atlanta stuff. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you, you know they different in Atlanta. <laughs> they real different in Atlanta. But anyway, this this is the uh, the reason that Ti is going in the, into the sister circle. So the first episode. Um, they were talking about things that happened in the last season mm-hmm. and, and their relationship being on the rocks and everything. And T.I., uh, just recently, I don't know if you saw it, there was a video of him backstage yes. with some girl. Yes. Um, and he was slapping her hind parts and stuff. <laughs> That's what my mama say, her oh, hind parts. <laughs> right. 
Any, he was doing inappropriate things for any married man to be doing. And if I didn't know, I'm gonna tell you here. Here's a little tea. If you watch Greenleaf, Greenleaf, uh, do you watch Greenleaf? Okay, well the the lady that was in the video is Tasha Skanks off Greenleaf. Okay, and if you watch Greenleaf, you like ooh. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> so that video came out, and so they're discussing the video, and Ti says, well, she's not even mad that I was in the video doing something. She's mad because it was on social media. He was like, I didn't get caught cheating. Somebody was being nosy and putting me on social media and everybody's in our business and I didn't get caught doing anything. And basically he just tried to throw the black, like he doesn't take responsibility for anything. He was like, it, it's some, what kind of, he, this is what he said. He was like, what kind of man would be filming somebody from the crack of the door? He was like, uh, Tiny's not even mad. Tamika's not even mad at me. Um, if she had just found out about it, we would have just had a conversation and we would have gone on about our day. But she's mad that it's on social media and da da da. Like, th that was his attitude towards mm -hmm. it. And I was just like, wow. Like, would you be okay with your, any of your daughters dating a man That's like what you? I'm saying. Because they're watching this. And, and Zanique is our age, right? Mm -hmm. She's around our age. So she's, you know, getting into dating and stuff. And I just was like, wow. Anytime I watch these these men on on TV, on TV. and like him, Stevie J, Young Jock, and they do stuff, and I'm like, y'all realize y'all daughters are watching this, and Young Jock has a bunch of daughters. I didn't know that. Well, he has like nine kids, so there's most of them are girls. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, do y'all do y'all see the example you're setting? Right. And it's like they don't think about that. And T.I. also has a lot of children, and most of them are boys. Yes, Again, is. are you cautious in watching yeah, the example that you're setting? three daughters, and I think I'm not going to count. I don't know how many. It's <laughs> seven, I think it's seven of them. three daughters. <laughs> I think it's seven of them, so three girls and four boys. Uh, I think, I don't know. But, yeah, T.I., I, I just, I just, he, <sighs> I just want to be like, why you want to go and do that? Like, that's what I wanted to say to him. I just don't get it. He stresses me out. <laughs> I, literally, every time I watch this show, I can't, like, I can't watch it no more because I just lose more and more respect for him. Like, he's trash. Mm. He's trash. And Tiny deserves so much better. And you should just tell him to get it popping in the, in the sister circle. Get it popping. Big things popping. What is it? Big things popping. Little things stopping in the sister circle. That's where you can go, Clifford, because I'm tired of you. And you need to respect your wife. And I, no, <laughs> I just too much. I just want Tiny, Tiny, you deserve so much better. Tiny, you got your own money. You got that old escape money. I know you still getting residual checks off of just kicking it. Come on. Come on, Tiny. You ain't got to be with her. You ain't gotta, she deserves so much better. Take your kids and move on. <laughs> I just don't understand. And they done filed for divorce like three or four times. Like, that man do not respect. He does not respect her. Like, the fact that you be saying this stuff on national TV mm -hmm. is just shocking to me. Like, I can only imagine what's said when the cameras are not rolling. <laughs> like, he, he does not respect her. And I just can't with T.I., with Clifford. Um... I'm over it. So, yeah, Clifford is my first sister circle inductee. You can move. We can move on. No, you're right. I'll go Keep last. Going. Yeah, you Keep got going. Okay. I one. <laughs> well, another one of my sister circle mm -hmm. inductees was on the same show. Reginae Carter. Uh, if, to you, Toya's family. If you don't know who <laughs> Reginae Carter is, she's the daughter of Toya and Lil Wayne. And I just don't. Reginae is... You know you just don't understand somebody, so you got to look at them... <laughs> She's just, just disrespectful. So t on the same episode, Toya was sitting down and trying to have a mama-daughter mama, to, mama daughter talk. Like, sis, I'm worried about you. Mm -hmm. You date this man who's years older than you. Mm -hmm. you're, you're 19. You just finished. You're in your freshman year of college. Is she, is she 20 now? Or is she she, about I think to she 20. just turned 20. Like within, within well, no, her birthday, she just tweeted the other day that she was dancing because it was her birthday week. So, well, so I then she, she just turned 20. about to be 21. Go ahead. You keep talking. I'm going to look it up. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> this is not really so, important. I was just wondering. She's 19, and if you didn't, first of all, she is spinning out of control. She's dating Wyatt. Why? Why? Well, you didn't see that video on Instagram? No. Okay, well, we'll talk about it off after the, when the mics go off. But um, if you know the video I'm talking about, I didn't see all of it, but I, I heard it, heard about it. And so that, and she's dating YF, YF and Lucci, and he's four, he has four kids, 
and she just graduated from high school. She's in her freshman year of college, and then she told Tori that she didn't want to go back, and she wanted to pursue acting, and she just she's she's really becoming a rapper's girlfriend, and. Oh. And Toya was like, that's not what you want to do. Like, I did that. <laughs> Toya is trying to tell her, like, I did that. When right. your, your daddy first got signed, I was there. I know what it's like. And Reginae just like, no, that's you. It ain't me. And she's just being disrespectful. And I'm like, you know what? She and she going to end up somewhere. And she did. She got arrested with Wyatt. Wyatt yes, and Lucci. she did. I she saw She got that. arrested with him. And, and she just, it's, I don't even, I don't know what to say about her because it's, she just continues to spiral out of control. And I think that she should spiral into some control in the sister circle. Because that's where we're we going to keep her under control. We're going to keep her under wraps. We're going to watch her. We're going to love her in the sister circle. So, Regine, go ahead and take a seat because I'm done. Uh, so, there's that, those two. And then my third sister, cir- sister circle inductee for the week is, everybody knows this name at this point, Treasure Richards. Ah, uh, you don't know who Treasure Richards is? You know, the girl that was on Dr. Phil, the black girl. Oh, that's her name. <laughs> I didn't even know that's what her name was. Um, oh, Gap Tooth Girl. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. First of all, everybody on Twitter, y'all are out of line saying that she <laughs> looked like the Alaska bullworm from SpongeBob. <laughs> Everybody's out of line. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. Um, so, Treasure Richards and her mom. Did this? Ep- did the episode air yet? Does anybody know if the actual episode came on or just the no clips? Idea. Okay, so these clips surfaced on social media of Treasure and her mom going on Dr. Phil. And Treasure is a young black girl who says that she's not black, but she's she's white. And she's in a superior race. And then she made this YouTube video. She'll never be like any of them Negroes. Right. <laughs> I said, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> she said, it's, like, it's not funny, but it is funny because it's like, girl, what? So what are you talking about? And um, so she just gets gets on Dr. Phil talking about how she's she's not she's not black she's a white woman and um, she's disgusted by black people. yeah she's disgusted with black people and she made this YouTube video like justifying Hitler's actions and everything oh, I didn't see that. and it was just too much it was just too much and then her sister came out you are correct she's nineteen <laughs> thank you <laughs> um her sister came out and said that you know. It was all a joke, not a joke, but they mm-hmm. were faking. Like her, her mom and her sister got on Dr. Field, and they were faking. It was all a lie, mm-hmm. and they just wanted the trip. And yeah, stuff like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then Dr. Field came out and oh, said, I didn't see "Oh yeah, Dr. Field came out and he he had a statement and he said, well, she's mentally ill and mental illness can come in all all you know states and forms, mm-hmm. and just because she doesn't." act like other people who, are, who have mental illness doesn't mean that her mental illness isn't well. Listen. Listen. That ain't no mental illness. I mean, I ain't no doctor. I can't. I, I ain't gonna say that ain't no we mental illness. We here on the gravity do have degrees. We, not this is not the gravity. This oh. <laughs> oh my god. We here on black degree and unfiltered do have degrees, just not medical ones. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I'm not, no, not no counselor, no anything, but I didn't know what to say. Like, girl, you look in a mirror. <laughs> look in no, look in the mirror. You're black. Look uh, at your hair. What are you doing? I don't even understand. <laughs> that wasn't even supposed to be shady, but like, come on. It's just you. Know, I don't understand. Like, and the fact that people let you walk around this long and say these things and think these things, fake or not, it's okay. You can be white all you want to in your head. But as soon as you do something, you're going to get reminded that you're black Jesus. real fast, okay? Uh, and I just, and that's not even, no, no, trying to be funny stuff. Like, sis, you know what can remind you of your blackness? A seat in the sister circle. And we just, treasure, we invite you. <laughs> we invite you to the sister circle. Your whole family, actually, because something's going on. Dr. Phil, you honorable mention. Honorable Sister <laughs> Circle, go ahead, take a seat. Yeah, I'm done. Speaking <laughs> of honorable mentions, I would just like to throw another honorable mention about of all those um, young black children who was at the Donald Trump thing when they had the little young black Child. leader thing at the White House and they was in there. First of all, what kind of sense does it make, uh, Not not let alone for you to be there, that's your own business, do what you gotta do, I guess, whatever. But to be in there singing Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> What? First of all, 
who was like, you know what? Put all right on. That's what we about to okay. jam to. First of all, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Donald Trump and his rallies, let's talk about Pharrell, who is the old, that is my kind of petty. Did you see that he, he sent, sent him a cease, cease and, and desist? desist? Did you see that Rihanna's Rihanna? about to send him one too? <laughs> that is my kind of petty. I said, wow. He said, don't play my music at nothing. Nothing. <laughs> don't hit play on it. I don't want to hear it. I said, wow. Wow. That's wild. That is funny. I don't understand. So I you just don't understand. It's just too much. It's too much. You want to tell the people about your sister circle inductee? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> never be like we that. We got one more. Negroes. We got one more. <laughs> she really did say, I'll never be like them Negroes. Never be like none of them Negroes. Sis, <laughs> you're already there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're already there. Get out of here. Treasure. Oh. First of all, your name is Treasure. We're, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. First just of move all, on. let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to move on. All <laughs> right. So my sister circle is I guess it ties back into last week too. And her she goes by the name of Shelby Heenan. I think this is the first time in the gravity or black degree unfiltered history that we have a local sister <laughs> circle oh, and yeah. that <laughs> Local right here yeah, in we the city. Put some Maryville people in there, but we didn't. But all right, that's not relevant. That doesn't that, <laughs> that literally has no standing on what's happening right now. <laughs> that's just my own thing. Okay. I'm so I'm glad that you cleaned that up. <laughs> So her name is Shelby Heenan. And if you haven't heard, if you don't know her name, really doesn't matter because she's nobody important anymore. But she was a was a nurse at St. Luke's, I think it was East. I don't really remember which one. We're going to say East because, you know, at the St. Luke's Hospitals. One of them. One of them. And she and her boyfriend, whose name has not come out wildly, decided that they were going to dress up like Beyonce and Jay-Z for Halloween. And so not only did they do this, and they had terrible costumes, but they also <laughs> decided that what they needed to do was slather their bodies in brown, deep brown, black paint and go out because couldn't nobody know that it was them unless they was in blackface. And I'm not here for them. I can't believe that that happened right here in Kansas I mean, I can believe that it happened, but I can't believe that it blew up right here in Kansas City. Right here, yeah. That's crazy. You don't, like, you don't ever think like it's going to happen right here where you live. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So first of all, so not only am I just, I'm exhausted over everyone doing blackface because at this point, you know what you're doing. Yeah. It ain't, and I'm tired of people coming on talking about, well, this is another teachable moment. No, it's not a teachable moment because I'm tired of teaching these people. <laughs> at this point, I don't need to teach you nothing. You just need to fight me. Because, <laughs> yeah, no, I've been, I've been on this all week. <laughs> you just need to fight. No, I don't need to teach you anything because every year you see somebody lose their job for doing the same stupid stuff. Yeah. So why would you be like, they're not going to get me? First of all, what do you mean? Who are you that you think somebody's not going to get you to? Right. And along with them, I forgot about these people too. They get in the sister circle. It was a whole group of teachers in, I want to say Iowa. Um, and half of them dressed up like Mexicans and half of them dressed up like a wall. Wow. Yeah. Did you see that? I did not yes. see that. And then I on the wall, that. they had Make America Great Again. Half of them were the wall and half of them were Mexicans. People yeah. are wild. So, and like, I, what do you mean? And I hate when people say, like, oh, um, like nobody would have known who we were if, you know, we didn't have black. Fa- there are so many, there are so many people. Who I've seen dress up as black people that killed killed their costume mm-hmm. like that was so good and they didn't have to do blackface like I don't understand. You and don't, if you don't think somebody's gonna know who you are, go to Dollar Tree and buy a name tag and write who you are, <laughs> <laughs> because the black paint didn't help you at all. I wasn't like, oh, she was trying to be Beyonce. No, Wait, you just look stupid. I seen a tweet and somebody somebody said, I don't know if I'm more bad because of the blackface or because I put these cheap outfits on. Trying to be Beyonce and Beyonce. That's what I'm saying. And then, oh, her boyfriend, why are you out there in deep purple trying to be Jay-Z? What are you doing? <laughs> it's just too much. It's too much. That's what I'm saying. I'm tired of teaching people. I'm tired of people being like, well, they don't know the history. So stop teaching them the history and start fighting them because I bet you they won't wow. do it again. I mean, I'm not going to fight them. You because did. I didn't. Somebody, um, school, he commented. He said they didn't want to fire her at first. They sent an iOS press release on their Facebook apologizing but never said that they would fire her until the public demanded that she be fired. See? That See? is wild. Wow. Like, imagine being a black person and going in there and that's your nurse. I would be like, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> like, I've, what? I've been uncomfortable for worse. I remember... I remember in uh, my, for our freshman year of college, mm. I had a professor that kept saying, like, every every class, and he kept saying, you can do this. He's like, you can do this. It's cotton picking easy. And he would say that for everything. And I would be like, wow, he just going to keep saying that. 
It's just wild. It's just too much. <laughs> Big and easy. You should have fought him. <laughs> I just would be looking around like, mm. wow, you just gonna keep black to everything. He said it was. <laughs> yeah, he would just say it's cotton picking easy to everything, and I, I would just be so uncomfortable. Like, why do you gotta say that? Why you keep saying that? And I was the only black person in the class, so. Of course, I just be looking around like, wow. Be like, y'all, y'all, y'all think this is okay too, huh? <laughs> it's just too much. It just that makes no sense. And so I'm tired. I like I understand that you know each one teach one whatever. But at what point do you feel like you have to stop teaching people? At what point are you secure in the fact that these people know what they're doing and they just don't care? Because right now, I that's how I feel. I definitely feel like, especially with everything going on, and racial tension being at it at the height that it is you know you know right you know and if you say you don't know you a lie <laughs> it's too much it's too much oh i <laughs> i didn't even have a transition to get her to this <laughs> I, was, I was just gonna be like yep and that's what it is uh, our comments I forget this we're sending her somewhere <laughs> we're sending this, this is uh, <laughs> our comments are wild i just, mm-hmm. just you know that. went around trick-or-treating you know where you can trick-or-treat in this is that yeah, was that was a beautiful transition top that's of the dome just, so, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. So those are our sister circle inductees for the week. It's just too much happening. Um, wow, it's just a lot going on. So yeah, those are our sister circle inductees for the week. We will tweet an updated list. There is a long-standing tradition right here on Black Degree and, Unf- and Unfiltered, where each DJ picks a throwback pick for the week. So we're gonna get into our throwback picks really fast. My throw, actually, go ahead. You go ahead and tell your throwback pick. All right. <laughs> my throwback pick is Now That We Found Love by Heavy D. In the boys. Yeah. Sorry. That's a good song. I love that it's a bop. My throwback pick, I actually, I wasn't even trying to be shady when I picked this, but then I was like, I can't pick this song and not tell the story because we didn't even talk about it. So, yeah. <laughs> a shotty. <laughs> Poor little baby, only sold 24 tickets. But that was not her fault. Why was it not her fault? Be- oh, you didn't know that? I didn't know that. Oh, because the school, they only gave her like two weeks to promote it. And then it was a student. Beyonce could sell a show in two weeks. Let me finish talking. <laughs> and it was um, student only, and the majority of the students are Asian and something else. It's not. It wasn't black people. And, it, and they only gave her two weeks. Beyonce could sell out a show in two weeks. To not black people. Are we talking about Ashanti? Or are we talking <laughs> about Beyonce? All I'm saying is, my little baby that had to cancel the show. And so, for that reason, my throwback is Rock With You. Because that's really my song. Oh, baby. That's really my song. So <laughs> I like Ashanti. She She's just, cool. She just ain't got no new-ish bops. <laughs> Do y'all know Ja Rule will be here this week? <laughs> Is he going to be He's here? going to be at KC Live. And I think that is the most randomest thing that there is. I don't even know that's the word. That's First the word. of all, I want to put 50 Cent back in there for still messing with Ja Rule. Did you know that either. he bought? I did know that. Uh, who buys seats but, to the concert so they be empty? But who in Kansas City decided that bringing Ja Rule as a headliner? <laughs> What's the good idea? He's somewhere now. He was on Twitter getting into it with somebody I saw today. That. But he will be at KC Live on November 10th. I don't want to go see Ja Rule. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I think if he brought all the people he did features with, I would go see that's that. True. If that, it was just a Ja Rule features tour, I'm in there. But that is so random. We gonna bring Ja Rule, and uh, that's it. That's so random. <laughs> that's so ja Rule. That's it. Oh. So yes, we're gonna get into our throwbacks, and when we come ja back, Ja Rule and Ashanti should go on tour together. I think they did. They that. did. Yeah, they did. That didn't go well. Somebody either. said they're going to see Ja Rule this weekend. Well, you let me know what? how it is. You let me know how it is. <laughs> Let me know how it is. What would I be with my baby? Let me know. <laughs> That's all I know. That's all I, That's I all know. What's my name? Are you Ellie? <laughs> See? Oh, wait. My other son, what, when he redid, what do I do? Yes, Everybody's I... living it up. Hey, that was a good song. Okay, John Rue got some bops. He do got some bops. I'm going to put some respect on his We name. should go see him. I don't know about that one, but I don't know about that one. You can go and tell me how it is. I'm going to go uh, see Ja Rule alone. <laughs> 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 this is too much. So we're going to get into our throwbacks. When we come back, it'll be time for the topic of the night. You're listening to Black Degreed and Unfiltered. He said the ticket's only $15. <laughs>
You're still listening to Black Degreed and Unfiltered right here on KUAW. And now it's time to dive right into our topic for the night. We would be so wrong if we didn't use our platform to talk about this. So tonight, we're talking about voting. Tomorrow's an election day. Please, 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 please Woo. exercise your right. Go vote. If you don't vote, you don't got a right to complain about what's going on in anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so go vote. Go vote. If you need a ride, Lyft is doing the... um. I don't. I think it's a free ride thing to certain certain polls. I don't know for sure, but Lyft. <laughs> you looking at me? I was like, mm, I don't know. Lyft, Uber. I know there's people all over social media that are saying they're giving free rides to go vote. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Yeah, I'll Shoot. take somebody to vote. I was just gonna say I don't know what my schedule is like tomorrow, but as soon as I figure it she out, can't take nobody to vote. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't, don't know. <laughs> I don't know what my schedule is like tomorrow. They told me yet, but I figure it out. I will take people to go vote I'll as take well. Somebody to vote. We're going to figure it out, Black Degree to Un- the host of Black Degree to Unfiltered. We're going to figure it out. We're going to post information, and we're going to take people to vote once we figure out what's going on and everything. We're going to let y'all know on our Instagram, Twitter, and – oh, Lord. Twitter, Instagram. She's excited. <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Go vote. I can't say it much. Just go. Just go, 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 go vote. And if you don't know what to vote for or who to vote for, guess what? We're going to tell you everything that you need to know right here. So make sure y'all paying attention. Let's do this. Yeah. That was nice. Thank you. I forgot I was about to say before that. <laughs> oh, um, yes, I'm so, I feel like excited is not the right word about tomorrow, but I'm so, I don't know if hopeful is the right word either. I have a lot of feelings about tomorrow. I feel that, I feel that. <laughs> but, like, I thought it was so important. I um, made sure my <laughs> friends were registered, and so not only did, like, I text them and make sure they were registered, um, I had them text me, and so I like that people are engaged. I made sure Richard was registered to vote. I was very proud of that. And uh, I tried to get my mama to go vote tomorrow at 6 in the morning. She's not going to do that. But I, <laughs> I did try. Um, <laughs> she's going to vote later in the day. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I think that it's so important. And so before I read these, all I'm reading is really candidates. And then for the proposition and stuff, these are just my interpretations of what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I am no lawyer. I have a degree. It's not a law degree. <laughs> so then, I am no lawyer. I can't really read all this stuff. So this is just my interpretation. But also, I do know that a lot of the news um, programs tonight are uh, also going over the ballots tomorrow. And so the news starts at 9. We get off at 9. Just turn on the news if you don't know what I'm saying. So um, one of the, I guess, the biggest uh, issue tomorrow is the senator. So we are one of the places that is up for a Senate election. And so like I'm sure that you've seen the commercials. I'm sure you're tired of the commercials because I know that and my house is tired of the commercials and all the stuff. Over. So for <laughs> senator, the people yeah, that we have running in Missouri are Josh show. Hawley, who's registered, who's registered as a Republican, Claire McCaskill, who's registered as a Democrat, just hood, you just have to read uh, your Jay fellow brothers Fitt, and your fellow like that, sisters, who's registered as a Libertarian, and think Joe Crane, who's registered in the Green Party, the and Craig O'Deer, who's registered as an Independent. So those are the people that are running for senator. And so we are actually one of the closest states to watch that people keep talking about us and. It's an all-inclusive Kansas place. One of the <laughs> closest states to watch. It is. Um, it's so an yes, all-inclusive that place. Is we got to read these people. For state you auditor, come, sit and think about I'm the things that you've done because what they're registered as. Line. Um, but <laughs> Sandra McDowell, Nicole so Galloway, Sean O'Toole, Don Fitz, and Jacob Lutzmeyer, they're running for state auditor. Am I going first? Um, so we have U.S. Yeah, or U.S. Representative <laughs> in the 5th okay, District, so which is the biggest district, I think. Hold on, let me make sure that And I so that one we have Jacob correct. Turk, Emmanuel Cleaver II, I'm Alexander like, we Howell. Ready. No, I was, I was ready. I know who it is. I just want to say his government. No. I want to yep, say his government. And so then a lot of the other districts I also have people running in their correct. representatives, but I some think of them are running unopposed. Some of them have is, no candidates well, and are just taking right in stuff like that. Clifford. It and is. then also I was in right. Kansas I was City, we are voting though. on Sheriff Clifford, Joseph, tomorrow. Harris, oh, Jr. Oh, I, I knew that I was what it was. Months, I just Darryl had to double Forte check. Clifford, was, um, Joseph, sheriff, Harris, Jr. And so he is the actually second. running to become the permanent sheriff. <laughs> Two times. And I'm tired I of him. He's both of them, okay? Oh, and he's running against David J. Bernal. Most the of you, <laughs> the so rubber band those are all man. the candidate the people. The cane. Who, uh, yeah. Yeah. Those, most of you know. Those are all the candidates uh, who are running for things. And what so else? I'm what sure you've seen be. signs up and stuff like that. It, tip, what so else? now, um, going to <laughs> I'm the, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm He is completely and utterly canceled for me. I'm over, I've am i been over T.I. for a long time. Oh, and we're also voting on a bunch of judges tomorrow, too. The Family Hustler, the more... 
Yes. I lose respect so, for that So now thing. going to and, the and constitutional it amendments. Because T.I. used to be one so of my favorite rappers. These but are I can't, my can't interpretations can't even, <laughs> of what, what I think really they say. We should have had a lawyer uh, on today. <laughs> Sorry. We, we so didn't, we, didn't, we didn't plan early enough. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. I can't do it no more. I let it slide so, for um, so many seasons. The, this and I can't one, slide I actually after heard this from the news. Uh, this deals so what with happened changing was the process his, his and the criteria for redrawing back, state you know, lines. And it, it also it deals Hustle. with um, the uh, limits stopped on it gives because that, T.I. and Tiny were about uh, to get a divorce. That's what we saw the whole last season. Running different stuff like that. And then it also deals with the amount that candidates can fundraise and how they can fundraise and different stuff like that. Like the finale that. of that. There's a lot of bullet that, uh, points. So, you know, that really bothered my spirit. Points. So, it, that is Constitutional really, Amendment number one that is getting voted on tomorrow. Him and Tiny went out to dinner. Uh, and Constitutional they were talking Amendment about, number two. You know, him stepping is, out in the marriage. This one has to do with like, medical well, marijuana. Too, and she was like, well, I don't know. And so, how many this times one says that they want to do a 4% retail, have retail have tax on it. But the funds for you were sleeping with somebody that I hired. And he said, well, the fact that you would even I've heard from the news that the biggest part of these two different bills is that I was at odds with. And she was like, okay, but what does that have to do with anything? You slept with somebody that I employed. And he said, but were you at odds with her? State and Research Institute that does cancer research. Clifford. So that's two and three. And then four. Clifford. It's something that, about that, see, that, that was that was, at the, uh, that was that was when I started to be like, wow, so, he's yes. really trash. Um, so but that, that wasn't even the main the, ones. The, and then the straw that broke the camel's oh, back for me was oh, the. Oh, so they brought the show back. Yes. And now it's called Ti. <laughs> okay. The so then also tomorrow we will vote on propositions. It's Ti and Tiny. It's Shannon Brown. Which I've seen everywhere. It has to do with increasing minimum. And so they want uh, to and set it at well, 80. Well, she ain't got no husband. She, I want to say 60, but don't quote that. Right, and ahead. then they say that Toy they can get it raised there. to 12 and, by the year 2023. Um, the one thing that I also think is crazy is that we're totally looking at the TI used today, and now also has all to do their families are like friends. And I, you know. That's some uh, prohibitions stuff, against know? it and you know, state laws. You know, you know, you know, you know they're different in Atlanta. And then <laughs> they're real different in Atlanta. But anyway, the gas tax, this, this is the, fuel and the, uh, fuel and the funds for that. The reason that TI is going into, into the sister like circle. So the first yes. episode. So, um, that is all of that. They were talking about things read that you, happened in the last <laughs> read season. Read the paper, read the and, news. And I, the relationship the call paper sent out their little freedom ballot. <laughs> and and T.I. Uh, uh, just recently, so I, I read the call paper and then I asked my mom. There was a video of him backstage with some girl. Yes. Um, and he was slapping her high yeah. parts and stuff. That's what and you know what? A few years ago, I asked my mom. That's what my mom was saying. High parts. Let me call her right. Right. So, <laughs> right. Anyway, we're only that doing small. inappropriate things for any married man <laughs> to be doing. Yes. So and yes, if I didn't know, I'm gonna tell you here. Here's a little tea. You, you know, choices you look into. Greenly. Greenly. Uh, of course, you, you know Greenly? we're here to help okay, make your own decisions. The lady that was in the video is Tasha Skanks. All that is the information. Okay. Do with what you will. Do with what you will. He was like, ooh. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, we, we so that right video right came right? out, and so they're discussing the video, and Ti yeah, says, did. "Well, so now that we have she's talked not about even mad like, that I was in the okay. video, <laughs> she's mad uh, it was on now that we have media. talked about, he was like, I didn't get caught cheating. The issues that somebody would be a nosy um, and putting me on social it's media. And everybody's out of right business, vote again, and I didn't get caught doing If you do not, basically he just no room to complain about it. Like he doesn't take responsibility for anything. He was like, it angry Facebook. What kind of this is what he said. He was like, what kind of man would be filming somebody? From the crack of the not, door, he's like, I was very she, upset uh, Tiny's not even mad. Tiny's not even mad at me. Uh, in the um, presidential, she had just yeah. found out about. Yes, it, we would have just had a conversation, be- especially and because one of me and my friends we, we voted early. We was in Kansas, and it was like, and she's mad that it's on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I got out of class. That was his attitude. Drove to Mary, and I was just like, came and got me, drove me to Kansas. Like, would you be okay with with any of your daughters dating a man like you? It was not because they're watching. At first, I appreciate Zanik is actually our age, right? She's around our age, so she wasn't. You know, getting into mm-hmm. dating and stuff, election. and I just I was, was like, like wow. I'm not really here for him. Anytime I watch yeah, I get these and these men like, on, no, like, you on TV, because and like him, like, Steve J, Young know, Jock, like, and they do stuff, and I'm right. like, and. Yeah, I realize you, y'all daughters you know, are watching this. Just young Jack has like, a bunch of daughters. This is a do or die situation. Well, he has like and nine so kids. So then, when so I finally did, most of them were girls. And, and, <laughs> uh, and, and I'm like, it was like, well, dang, do what y'all do this for? Yeah. Y'all see the example but you're setting. Right. I understand. And it's like they don't think about that. See, I also have a lot of children, and I will be. Most of them are boys. Again, I will be voting tomorrow. 
cautious. Oh, and so that, we've really examples that just the importance of voting. There are there is there's I always an I think it's seven. Yeah, it's <laughs> I think it's seven. There's always so just yeah, boys. just like some random people uh, parades. So there's a group of people. But yeah, Twitter, yeah, I just um, I say <sighs> why they aren't voting mm-hmm. and why it's not important to vote. I just want to be like why you wouldn't why you shouldn't vote because that's sticking it to the man. To say that here, I'm like listen, I don't get it. I don't think that is. I think literally every time I watch the show, I can't like I can't watch it no more because. I, I, to to <laughs> I think there are other steps trash. you could take and not trash. voting it's is not the best so step better. to take. And you should just um, tell him to get it back. Just, you got to use system. our voices and I know get it that there was big a things popping. What is it? Big things popping, little it, things stopping in the system going on That's after where you the can go, Clifford, because I'm tired but of you local government respect your wife. And I just want tidy of when you vote, things so much better. Yeah. Um, got your own money. We may not always be able to do things as big. I know you still get residual checks off of just kicking it. Come on, come on, Tiny. You ain't gotta be well. You ain't gotta she deserves so much better. Take your kids. The, the, a big deal with this one is because <laughs> I just don't it's so many and they for um, divorce, like, new three, senators four times, like, and so many things have happened. That man do not respect. He does not respect her. Like the fact that she's saying this stuff on national TV is just shocking to me. I can only imagine what's said when the cameras are not so close that just one or two candidates of a different. Or whatever yeah, could have changed the vote dramatically. Um, yeah. So that is I'm one of the so, yeah, biggest things. My first is and so while yeah. we're on the topic can, of the people who are talking about why they're not yeah, voting, keep going. Um, yeah, keep going. Okay. Got to be important. To well, another one about to some of the it, examples that people the have talked show. about of Reginate voter suppression that's going on uh, in the if if United Toya's States. Family. So in Georgia, if you don't know who Reginae Carr is, daughter of Toya, Stacey Abrams, and somebody else. I don't know. Yeah, I just know Stacey Abrams because Oprah was out there with her. <laughs> and Obama People was out there with her. That was Will Ferrell. Look at me. What she? She just just. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's but the same I know episode, in Georgia, Toya was sitting down and trying to I want to say mama daughter talk. No, I'm not like, gonna quote the sis, number. I'm but about uh, you. Uh, more you than a thousand ballots have gone you. missing. You're, you're 19. Um, supposedly, you oh, yeah, you're in your freshman year of college. Um, but so more than a thousand ballots have gone missing, and they can't find them, or they have people that aren't registered anymore. And different stuff like that. And so a lot of they say voter records are not registered until they're like 21. We don't know why you're not registered. Yeah. And so that's happening in Georgia, and then in Texas, they have voting because that's a big race that's Ted you Cruz versus first of all she's O'Rourke, spinning out of control think, she's yeah. dating Wyatt um, um, but Wyatt yes, running, well, you didn't see then, that video um, a lot of people say that okay, they have we'll been voting about straight ticket after blue the, but then when, when they the get off. the print out back but, um, when he goes if you know the video I'm talking about I didn't see all the people running the thing and say well they're going to change and so that and she's dating Wyatt so that's happening in Texas and then in Arizona and South Dakota they were making new voter ID laws and in Arizona she just graduated from high school she's in her freshman year of college and then she told Tori that she didn't want and then oh, in South, about that yeah, in South Dakota, a lot of them are Native just, Americans, so they don't have the same really a things on the reservation that and, we would And Toya really was get. like, that's so not what you want to do. Like, to I did that. Those type of ideas <laughs> Toya is trying to tell her, like, I did that. When your your daddy first got signed. And, and I was Kansas, there. So I know right what it's like. Right across the state lines. In Dodge City, Kansas, which is a very big Latino population. She moved and she gonna end their up polling place and, she did. and they she moved it outside of my Yes, she did. I she got arrested with him. With him. And, and um, they're not providing public just, transportation to it. Even, and there's not sidewalks where about they have it. Because so it's, it's basically you have to walk just in the street to get there. And so with that, that's and actually one of the places that Lyft is doing control free in the system yeah. transportation. Because that's where we we gonna keep her polls. under control. We are gonna keep her under wraps. So we gonna think watch it. We gonna love her. Because if your vote didn't matter, circle. people so would be trying to so hard to get you to stop voting. Because I'm done. Right. Uh, so and there's that. Those two. And then my third sister in the long run, it matters for the weekend. Especially local government. Everybody knows this name at this point. I also feel like we might as well move on to the first question. You don't know who Treasure Richards is? Why is it important to vote? The girl that was on Dr. Phil, the black girl. I definitely think that's her name. Because I didn't even know that's what somewhere her name down was. in our family um, lineage, and somebody in my girl. family was oh, not allowed to Oh my god! Somebody First of all, would have been everybody on Twitter out of line if they tried saying to vote. Saying that she looked like the Alaska right bullworm from SpongeBob. <laughs> Everybody's I am not allowed. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. Re- able to get um, myself to the polls. So Treasure Richards, I, was, I registered and her mom. Did this ep- did I'm the able to go. Area? Does anybody I know? Need to, I need to go. I need to exercise that right. Okay, so because these clips surfaced somebody on in my family social media get to. of Treasure and, and her mom. Uh, other people in our heritage and our culture. Treasure is a young get black to. girl. They fought for that right. says that she's not black, but she's that's a slap in the face to them. a superior race. If I sit here and watch things happen and do not exercise my right to vote. I said, wow, that's crazy. And that goes for anybody. It's not funny. So but it is funny it's because it's like, girl, to somebody what? So what are you who had about? to fight and to, for their um, right to vote. 
So she just and gets, you don't. gets on and Dr. Phil talking about right here. She's, she's watching not, us. She's not black. On Twitter, she's on Facebook, woman, something. And, and not going uh, to go disgusted tomorrow. by black people. Yeah, she's disgusted not with black people. And she There's made this YouTube too video too like justifying Hitler's like, actions and everything. And it was just too much. It was just too much. And I feel like I am voicing my opinion. You are correct. And then I just. Um, her sister I just came see out like the things that are going on that, and I just you know, don't understand how people can just legi- be legi- bad legi- people to people yeah. like her, I don't understand her mom how and we her can have a president who is sending thousands of military troops to go to this to go yeah, to yeah. this fence and where so these people are going to come and they just want help and they like well if they throw rockets you shoot them that doesn't make any sense to me because they're not coming here for that like in the thousands maybe there might be somebody with ill intentions or whatever but there's kids walking with them and I feel like like, um, my friend made a video with his friend. It was isn't just funny. Well. He was talking about listen, um, how long can you stay listen. mad in a car? Like, if you're driving to go fight somebody, no how long can you stay mad? I mean, I ain't no doctor. How long can you really walk and be angry if you're, if you're like, like listen, this is not, not the gravity. I'm tell you what, my <laughs> anger's going to burn up. Oh, my God. I'm like, mm, I don't think it's worth it. black degree. But, like, if you're really coming for help, it's not medical. That's very true. That's all I'm not going to do. And I don't understand how you can just be bad to people. I don't understand how you can see the things that are happening to women. Like, and girl, the women's rights are mirror. getting stripped away <laughs> and then in, be like no, look in the mirror yeah. you're black I don't uh, really care hair. like that makes no sense doing? to me because even I, I get, say even you're understand. a boy you still have a mom <laughs> so that wasn't even supposed to be shady just, but like come on I just don't people can watch just, things happen you know, and not do anything about like, it and the Especially fact that people crazy let you walk around this long right now right. and say like, these things I feel like now is a thing. fake like, or not. Like they said with the president. It's okay. Election, you can be like now that white all you want in office in your and head. the stuff that but has been as soon as you do something, situation. you're going to get you reminded that you're black Jesus. real fast. Okay? We can't make uh, Ain't no changes going to start. And that's not even on no trying to be funny stuff. say like this, listen, we're tired of this happening. Like, come on. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, you know so that, we can go ahead and turn it over to social media. Blackness. That's our first uh, our social media system question system. for today. Why and is it important to treasure, vote? We to you. invite you. Why do you think it's important to vote? <laughs> go ahead we and invite you to come to the system. Your live whole family stream, actually. And we back, we'll be back in just something's a few going on. Dr. Phil, you honorable mention. <laughs> Sister Circle, go ahead, take a seat. Yes. I'm done. Speaking <laughs> of honorable mentions, I would just like to throw another honorable mention about of all those. Um, young black children who was at the Donald Trump thing when they had the little young black Child. leader thing at the White House and they was in there. First of all, what kind of sense does it make, uh, Not not let alone for you to be there? That's your own business. Do what you got to do, I guess, whatever. But to be in there singing Kendrick Lamar. What? First of all, who was like, you know what? Put all right on. That's what we about to jam okay. to. First of all, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Donald Trump and his rallies, let's talk about Pharrell, who is the old, that is my kind of pet. Did you see that he sent, sent him a cease, cease and desist? desist? Did you see that Rihanna's Rihanna? about to send him one too? <laughs> that is my kind of petty. I said, wow. He said, don't play my music at nothing. Nothing. <laughs> don't hit play on it. I don't want to hear it. I said, wow. Wow. That's wild. That is funny. I don't understand. So you yeah. don't understand. It's just too much. It's too much. You want to tell the people about your sister circle inductee? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> never be like we that. We got one more. Negroes. We got one more. <laughs> she really did say, I'll oh, never be like them Negroes. Never be like none of them Negroes. Sis, <laughs> you're already there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're already there. Get out of here. Treasure. Oh. First of all, your name is Treasure. We're, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. First just of move all, on. let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to move on. All <laughs> right. So my sister circle is I guess it ties back into last week too. And her she goes by the name of Shelby Heenan. I think this is the first time in the gravity or black degree unfiltered history that we have a local <laughs> sister circle oh, and yeah. that <laughs> local right here yeah, in we the city. Put some Maryville people in there, but we didn't. But all right, that's not relevant. That doesn't that, <laughs> that literally has no standing on what's happening right now. <laughs> that's just my own thing. Okay. I'm, so, I'm glad that you cleaned that up. <laughs> So her name is Shelby Heenan. And if you haven't heard, if you don't know her name, really doesn't matter because she's nobody important anymore. But she was a was a nurse at St. Luke's, I think it was East. I don't really remember which one. We're going to say East because, you know, at the St. Luke's hospitals. One of them. One of them. And she and her boyfriend, whose name has not come out wildly, decided that they were going to dress up like Beyonce and Jay-Z for Halloween. And so not only did they do this, and they had terrible costumes, but they also <laughs> decided that what they needed to do was slather their bodies in brown, deep brown, black paint, 
and go out because couldn't nobody know that it was them unless they was in blackface. And I'm not here for them. I can't believe that, that happened right here again. I mean, I can believe that it happened, but I can't believe that it blew up right here in Kansas City. Right here, yeah. That's crazy. You don't like you don't ever think like it's gonna happen right here where you live. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So first of all, so not only am I just I'm exhausted over everyone doing blackface because at this point, you know what you're doing. Yeah. It ain't, and I'm tired of people coming on talking about, well, this is another teachable moment. No, it's not a teachable moment because I'm tired of teaching these people. <laughs> At this point, I don't need to teach you nothing. You just need to fight me. Because, <laughs> yeah, no, I've been, I've been on this all week. <laughs> you just need to no, I don't need to teach you anything because every year you see somebody lose their job for doing the same stupid stuff. Yeah. So why would you be like, they're not going to get me? First of all, what do you mean? Who are you that you think somebody's not going to get you to? Right. And along with them, I forgot about these people, too. They get in the sister circle. It was a whole group of teachers in, I want to say Iowa, um, and half of them dressed up like Mexicans and half of them dressed up like a wall. Wow. Yeah. Did you see that? I did not yes, see that. Yes. And then I on the wall, that. they had Make America Great Again. Half of them were the wall and half of them were Mexicans. People yeah. are wild. So, and like, I, what do you mean? And I hate when people say, like, oh, um, like nobody would have known who we were if, you know, we didn't have black fa- There are so many. There are so many people who I've seen dress up as black people that killed killed their costume. Mm-hmm. Like, that was so good. And they didn't have to do blackface. Like, I don't understand. You and don't- if you don't think somebody's going to know who you are, go to Dollar Tree and buy a name tag and write who you are. <laughs> <laughs> because the black paint didn't help you at all. I wasn't like, oh, she was trying to be Beyonce. No, Wait, you just look stupid. I see the tweet and somebody somebody said, I don't know if I'm more bad because of the blackface or because I put these cheap outfits on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And then, oh, her boyfriend, much. why are you out there in deep purple trying to be Jay-Z? What are you doing? <laughs> it's just too much. It's too much. That's what I'm saying. I'm tired of teaching people. I'm tired of people being like, well, they don't know the history. So stop teaching them the history and start fighting them. Because I bet you they won't wow. do it again. I mean, I'm not going to fight them. You because- didn't, I didn't, somebody, um, school, he commented, he said they didn't want to fire her at first. They sent an iOS press release on their Facebook apologizing but never said that they would fire her until the public demanded that she be fired. See? That See? is wild. Wow. Like, imagine being a black person and going in there and that's your nurse. I would be like, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> like, I have, what? I've been uncomfortable for worse. I remember I remember in uh, my, for our freshman year of college, mm-hmm. I had a professor that kept saying, like, every, every class, and he kept saying, you can do this. He's like, you can do this. It's cotton picking easy. And he would say that for everything. And I would be like, wow, he just gonna keep he just gonna keep saying that. It's just wow. She's too much. <laughs> Big and easy. You should have fought him. <laughs> I just would be looking around like, wow, you just gonna keep saying like to everything. He said it was Yeah, he would just say it's cotton picking easy to everything. And I, I would just be so uncomfortable. Like, why do you got to say that? Why do you keep saying that? And I was the only black person in the class. So, of course, I'd just be looking around like, wow. Be like, y'all, y'all, y'all think this is okay too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's just too much. It just, that makes no sense. And so I'm tired. I like, I understand that, you know, each one teach one, whatever. But at what point do you feel like you have to stop teaching people? At what point are you secure in the fact that these <laughs> still people still listen to doing, black degrees that are unfiltered? And we just asked our right first now, social media I, question I, of the I day. Then we're going to turn it over to social media with the answers. Racial tension oh. being at it. <laughs> at the wow. Rate, <laughs> you know. You know. Right. Okay. You know. And if you All say right. you don't so, know. You <laughs> I got one that says yes because every vote in some way matters. Oh, I didn't even have a transition to get her Thank you for She said yes. I was going to be like, yup, and that's what it is. Because we pick the people who pick the president and help push laws through that are being voted on in and out of office. Even uh, the Democrats. Some of them are super old and need to possibly be replaced with younger people who are full of fresh ideas and ways to help us in our lifetime. So those are our sister circle for the week. That's my best friend. It's just too much happening. She's currently in grad school. 
Hey, hey come on. Yeah. Going okay. On. So, yeah, those are our sisters are going to keys for the week. We will so, tweet yeah, an updated there's list. Smart, smart there's a long standing tradition right here of Black Degree and Unfiltered um, where each DJ picks a throwback pick. He said for the yes week. because if so we don't, we're going to get a black man to fast with the black man. Actually, go ahead. You go ahead and tell your throwback. He's also my friend. <laughs> my throwback I pick, pick, pick okay friends, now that I we found <laughs> wow. um, I got one that says yes if you that's don't like something that's going on in the government my the least you can do pick. is try I to actually, go vote to make a change otherwise you have this, no room to complain I was like, I if can't you can vote but, but choose not to because we didn't even talk about it so yeah I've been saying that that's a little baby I just so there's a lot going on in the world why was it and not even just in our city I didn't know that oh because the school they only gave her like have to Two weeks to promote it, and try then to make it was some kind of change. Uh, yeah, I think it's a show too. Like, <laughs> and it was um, <laughs> this is the time only, for all you have to be talking. It's the time for your voice Asian to be heard. And like and something you else. Know people just be talking. <laughs> it's not, it wasn't black people. You know, and they, and they only I gave her two weeks. Oh, we got another answer. Yeah, yeah I, I can sell out a show. Free. Oh, in two uh, weeks. <laughs> to not black people. Are we talking about Ashanti? Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> the que- So I have to say the question for. All I'm saying is, so the question again is, do you think it's show. important to vote? So why or why not? For that reason, my throwback. And so is the answer says, really I feel like myself. if there's the right candidate that has the proper policies for me and will actually serve me and my community and actually try to help us and keep their word. Then Do y'all yes, know sure. will be here this but week? But just blindly going and voting <laughs> just because <laughs> you feel like he's you have gonna to be a KC live. And I think that is the most randomest thing. And not that voting in your favor is a big First of all, I want to put the candidate in back in there for the or not at all. Did you know that he bought? I did know that. Who buys seats to the concert so they be empty? But who in Kansas City decided that? I don't know. I don't think I do. He's somewhere now. He was on Twitter getting into I think that's not voting at all. But he would be at KC live. Adds to the problem. Right. Like not voting I was <laughs> just <laughs> just a part I of the like if he a part brought of the all problem. the people he did features with and I would go that's true. I mean I, that, I just get the thought process because I felt like that but during so the presidential random. election bring ja but and, when somebody's uh, like listen if you don't vote at all <laughs> that's like a vote for the opposing right. candidate right. and I was like that's oh, it and I, I feel like so to yes, put it get into our throwbacks and when we come back 11,000 people yeah somebody said that votes that couldn't be counted at all you let me know how it is you let me know how it is for tomorrow let me know vote for her and vote for Hennessy and whatever else y'all voted for the last time don't do that. Come on, y'all. Don't do that. I, and, and so then, to, so then, so eleven thousand people. Oh wait, voted my other son. When he redid then, what? Uh, Trump that won is a popular vote. Like Everybody is living it up. Hey, that was a good. Okay, that we got from Bob. Eleven thousand. I'm putting some respect on you. We should go see him. Like I don't know about that one. But I don't know about that one. Like you can go and tell me how it is. You mean to tell me you got it into your car? And so roll right. all the way so to the gonna polls give it to, our to vote for Harambe. When we come right. back, it'll be time for the topic of the night. You're listening to that's Black Degree to Them Too. That's how I was looking at Directly you. Directly in the mic, huh? yeah. <laughs> or in the camera. Huh? I was like, hmm? That was me <laughs> being so exhausted. <laughs> I just don't. That's a lot of people. 11. Th- I just got stressed. Yeah. So I feel like even, I don't know. I mean, I guess. No, I don't guess. So even if you don't necessarily... Okay, so here's my stance on that, I think, as I formulated. Um, even if you don't necessarily know the candidates, first of all, that's why we're doing this show, because listen and figure out about people, and they're literally running ads all day, so Google it. Say, you got to do your research. <laughs> you on your phone yeah, all day anyway. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to be like, the, uh, <laughs> the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the, what's the, the college dude. The college, what's it, what's it called? I don't know. Oh, it's going to, oh, it's going to mess me up. What is it? It ain't Everest. No. My mom used to work at Everest, though. Fun fact. Oh, what school is that? Um, I'm going to find it. I understand. Just talk. But he used to be like, you sit on the couch all day. You wanna, you sit on the couch all day. <laughs> You're on the phone anyway. You might as well research. Like, right. What, what so, school is that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I can't help you. Every time you look at me for help, and I don't know, I just look away because I <laughs> don't know. Um, but, yeah, so I forgot what I was saying. So, okay. So, yeah. So, even if you don't know who's doing what, that's why it's your job to research what's happening. And I feel like... You should see that enough stuff is going on that you should care. And I feel like not vote. Oh, did you find out? It definitely was Everest. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I could help you. I gave you the fun fact about my mama worked there. Well, maybe I'll go vote today. <laughs> so just, I don't know. I feel like sitting at home is a waste, especially if you're going to complain later. That's very true. 
That's very true. But I do, I guess I say I agree with that in the sense, I do agree that you shouldn't go in and, and vote blindly. Yes. But that's also tying back into you need to research. Right. And, and research and figure out which candidate has policies that fit for you, fit for your family, fit for where, you know, wherever you are America. in America. <laughs> Fit for America. I don't know if I agree with that. Okay, well, fit for <laughs> people. Well, we're voting for senators tomorrow, so it can't just be fit for you and your family. It got to well, be fit for America. I, I mean, I can agree with that in a sense, again. Because okay. America don't care about me. Which is why you vote people in that do. True. But if I'm voting in for people that care about me, then that don't have nothing to do with America. But you live in America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm annoyed. All right. Okay, we got one more um, answer. Well, I have so, like two. Oh, okay. Well, I oh, want to read. I one. have more than two. So you go ahead. Um, Michaela said, "I think voting is important when you actually know what you're voting for." Um, she said, "Like the previous answer, <laughs> blindly voting ain't each ain't ah blindly voting ain't it, Chief? <laughs> Are we? It ain't it, Chief? All oh, right. Let's start saying that." Oh, my mommy said, I don't think it's important to vote. I know it is. She said, I vote because I still have hope that change can happen. Obviously, the majority wins. What I don't know is what or what I don't know is why that doesn't come across as important. There's strength in numbers. That's true. I, th- I really think just with the presidential election, like the the overall morale um, of voting went down. And as far as our generation, because they was like, yeah, we all got up, everybody did all this campaign, and we going to vote, 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 and then Donald Trump lost the, you know, the uh, popular vote, and then we came out and said it was electoral, electoral college that um, voted him in. So I really think that lowered the morale of voting. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like your vote still matters. Like you said, they wouldn't be trying to take it away if it didn't matter so much. Mm-hmm. And, and see, I've heard both sides of that. Like, I definitely, after he won, I definitely was feeling like that. Like, well, what did I even do this for? Yeah. What did I even go? I mean, wasted gas yeah. money to came back to Yeah, case. but then um, I definitely have heard that because all this is happening, it's like the people, that the number of people that weren't registered but could have been yeah. versus that are registered now has, like, shot up. Yeah. Like, we got a bunch of 35-year-olds registered to vote now because... That was just a number I threw out, but <laughs> because like they see what's happening, like I don't know, it's just I don't know. It's just a lot. It is a and lot. And I feel like if you, like I said, I'm too opinionated to feel like I'm not doing nothing. I feel like more conversations are being had now. Yeah. Um, conversations that should have been happening during the presidential election, right? But you know, as my mom said, I feel like the, the my mama says is a bought lesson and I feel like this is a bought lesson yeah. for us. Now granted, we ain't vote for him. Uh <laughs> that's why I'd be like, that's y'all president. Y'all put him in office because I ain't vote for him. Yeah. Uh <laughs> I, I feel like we are learning a, a lot about mm-hmm. a lot of people and it's making me as somebody who's you know coming into being an adult and stuff, I definitely am more aware of stuff. Yeah. And how it affects me. And so I, I kind of feel like um, Trump being elected as president, in a sense, made me pay attention more, because I just I could wake up tomorrow and, then, and be back somewhere I ain't supposed to be, because he <laughs> is he the president. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it makes you aware. Like you have to know what's going on. And even I may not know every candidate or everything and everything, but I, I know I'm aware of what's happening. Right. Like. And I feel like that's important, and and those kind of conversations have to be had, and definitely with people in our generation. Like we gotta know what's going on because we next in line. Right. Like we get ready to be, well, not get ready to be. We still kind of young, but uh, not all of us. Millennials are thirty five to twenty one. Okay, well, so then we are we are getting ready to be the adults, cause I, <laughs> you, know, you know, what I'm saying like yeah. our not not saying our parents is old, but mm-hmm. our parents are getting older, yeah. and it's gonna be us mm-hmm. especially and then i was a long time ago one of the people that was like um like i guess a long long time ago that was one of the people that was like okay well racism is gonna die off because it's all old people and i feel like the stuff that's happening now shows you that that's not the case sure. and so i feel like um so um so one of so chrissy Teigen retweeted a tweet and it was like 
this lady said, vote like women's rights are being taken away. Vote like kids that are being put in, or kids are being put in concentration camps because they're not white. Vote like people are going into elementary schools and shooting kids. Because all that stuff is happening, and if you just sit by and watch it, then what are you doing to help it? Why are you just, why, why are you happy being complacent the way we are? That's true. And I actually, I saw a tweet the other day, and it said reasons why we need to vote is because now um, high school shootings have been normalized. Right. And, I, and I, it was, I don't remember exactly where it was, but there was a high school shooting. And, and the kid died and they continued They class. resumed classes. Like, what? Like, whoever is in charge over there does not need to be an educator. Right. Can you imagine how the rest of the day went for every child in that school? Like, we were on lockdown two hours ago. Now I'm sitting in algebra. Like, like one, one of my classmates just passed away and... Right. I'm sitting here, and you want me to learn. I can't even imagine. If I was a teacher, I'd be like, mm-mm, I got to go. Right. No, it's too much. So, like, that kind of stuff. I also just seen somebody, actually, school, one of our watchers, he just um, posted the status, and he said, there are 14 reasons You're still to listening tomorrow. to Black Degrees mm-hmm. and Unfiltered and was, right here uh, on KUAW. Martin. And now it's time to dive right into our topic. We got to make a change, and it actually would be just so wrong if we didn't get the platform to talk about this. exactly what happened last night. We're talking about voting tomorrow's election day. Please, 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 please. Exercise your right. Go vote. If you don't vote, you don't got a right to complain about what's going on. He'll soften it Anything. Yes. So go vote. Go vote. If you need a ride, Lyft is doing the... um. So I, don't, like I think I said, it's a free ride. It's stuff happening in Kansas City that needs to change. Polls. I don't know for sure, but and Lyft. <laughs> you would have been like, I don't know. Lyft, so if you Uber, feel like I know there's you people don't need all vote, over social media you that are saying the, they're giving free rides to go vote. All the people on the opposing side, all the people on the opposing side are going somebody to vote. The people that are super fired up to vote are the people who feel like they're not being hurt. The people who are being hurt have been going to vote. I don't know about still going to vote. They told me that you don't go to vote, then you can't expect things to be different. I would say people to go vote as well. They don't figure it out. Black degree of the whole. Post a black degree to unfiltered. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna post Did you information and we're gonna oh, take people yes, to vote. We're gonna figure out what's going on okay. and everything. We're gonna um, let y'all know. So I on got our Instagram, I do Twitter, to begin and, with um, Twitter, oh, Instagram, oh, <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Go and vote. Go vote. I can't say it much. Just go, just go, 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 go vote. Can't be considered if you don't go and express them through voting. Guess what? We're gonna tell you everything that you need to know right here. So make sure y'all if you don't vote, you don't have no room to complain about anything. Like you, this is the time for your voice to be. Hurts. Oh, no, um, go. yes, I'm so. <laughs> I feel like I'm begging. I feel go like vote, excited please. Go vote. Tomorrow, but I'm so. I just don't understand. I don't know if hopeful is the right word. Don't vote. I have a lot of like, feelings about tomorrow. There's so many ways you can <laughs> But like, I thought it was so important. I uh, made like, sure my friends were registered, it, and so not only did like I text them and make sure they were <laughs> registered, right. um, okay, I had so them text last me. So I like if you were engaged. I made yes, sure Richard was registered to vote. <laughs> so if you and um, uh, could, if you were to to going morning, to be a lawmaker, what would be your <laughs> first <laughs> policy that you would want to um, implement? <laughs> she's going to vote Ooh. later in the day. Um, but yes, yeah, so I you think that it's so important. I just thought. And of that so before I, I read these, all I'm reading oh, is really candidates, the and then for the proposition stuff. These are just my interpretations of what they say. I, <laughs> or I, guess the first issue that you I am no lawyer. I have a degree. It's not a law degree. <laughs> 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 I am no lawyer. I can't I, really read all this stuff. So this is just my interpretation. And but also, I do off. know that a lot of For the blatantly news blatantly killing um, people programs tonight are... Uh, also going over the, the ballots the tomorrow, and so the news starts at well, 9. Listen, we get off at 9. Just turn the news if you don't know what I'm saying. Unarmed so, makes you that fearful that um, you don't need to be out of office. The, I guess right, the biggest be uh, uh, issue in tomorrow is the senators. So we are one of the scary about accounting for Senate election. And so I'm sure that you've seen the commercials. I'm sorry. I came back from a break and now. What question about the CJ? Because I can't. For senator, the people that we have running in Missouri. Or um, Josh Hall, who's the red light, is my honest, true answer. Like, like, say if I was the mayor of Kansas, Kansas City, I would put more street lights around uh, because I hate driving in the dark. So I'm talk about that. Who's registered as a libertarian? Think Joe Crane. That would be my own party. But my issue is registered as an independent. So those are the people that are running for senator. Police brutality and women's rights. So and we are actually one of the. I'm black person. So I stay But I am a woman. I'm a black woman. Those are to watch. It is. Um, this so is yeah, all the that, that is what I'm putting it's street lights everywhere. everywhere. There's something. The first thing I would tackle in case is Sandra McDowell, Nicole Galloway, Sean Solar, Don Fitz, and Jacob Meyer. They're running for state auditor. So we have U.S. Representative in the 5th District, which is 
the biggest Around district, I think. Oh, let and me make sure and so that one, we have Jacob Turk, like Emmanuel Cleaver the second, Alexander Howell. No, I was, I was ready. I know who it is. I just care about you. So so then a lot of the other districts also have their information and their records. Some of them are here in the polls. Some of them have no candidate in them. They're my whole We talk about homeless people. It is. I was right. I was going to say homeless people. It needs to be somewhere Joseph Harris. They can be junior. And I knew that was what it was. I broke out a double check. Clifford, Joseph, and Harris, Harris yeah. Jew. So like that really running through the army. Two times. I hate when I have to go work at that shop. He's both of them, okay? Oh, and he's, he's, running, he's running against David J. Harris. Drive down there and it's just people all over the world. The rubber band. Those are all the candidates. I can't believe it. Those are all the candidates who are running for things. Let me ask that question. Go ahead. What else? I'm sure you've seen signs up. Yeah, hit, tip. What else? So now, Take I'm sorry. Uh, well, he's he's cancerous. He is completely and utterly cancerous for me. I'm over. I've it's been over to y'all. Tweet us. Comment. Oh, and we're also voting on a bunch of judges. Show. Just a few minutes um, more. Yes. I lose respect so, for that. So now thing. going to it, the it, constitutional it amendment. Because T.I. used to be one of so, my favorite rappers. These but are I can't, my can't interpretations of what I think they say. We should have had a lawyer on today. Sorry. We, so, we, didn't, we didn't plan for it. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. I can't do it no more. I let it slide so, for um, so many seasons. The, and I can't one, slide and I actually after heard this from the news. Uh, this deals so what with happened changing was the process his, his and the criteria for redrawing back, state you know, lines. And it also deals hustle. with um, the uh, limits they stopped on it gifts because that and Tiny were about to get a divorce. That's why we saw the whole last season and the demise of their relationship. And then it also deals with the amount that candidates can fundraise and how they can fundraise different stuff like that. The finale of that. There's a lot of bullet that, points. Uh, so, you know, that really bothered my spirit. So, it that is constitutional <laughs> really amendment number one that is getting voted on tomorrow. Him and Tiny went out to dinner. Mm-hmm. And constitutional they were talking about number you know, two. Him stepping out in the marriage. This one has to do with like, medical well, marijuana. Too, and she was like, well, I don't know. And so, how many this times one I says they want to do a 4% retail tax on it. On, but the funds uh, for you were sleeping with somebody that I hired. And he said, well, the fact that you would even go to the biggest function and be somewhere with somebody that I was at odds with. And she was like, okay, but what does that have to do with anything? You slept with somebody that I employed. And he said, but were you at odds with her? State and Research Institute that does cancer research. Clifford. So that's two and three. And then four. Clifford. It's something that, about that, see, that, that, that was that was at the uh, that was that was Obviously. when I started to be like, wow, <laughs> so, he's yes. really trash. Um, so but that, that wasn't the main the, ones. And the, then the straw that broke the camel's oh, back for me was oh, the. Oh, so they brought the show back. Yes. And now it's called T.I. <laughs> okay, so then also tomorrow we will vote on propositions. It's Monica and Shannon Brown, which I play looking at her. It has to do with increasing minimum. And so they want uh, to and set it at Well, 80. she ain't got no husband. She's something. I want to say 60, but don't quote that. Right, and ahead. then they say that Toya they can get it raised there. to 12 and, by the year um, 2023. The one thing, thing, thing that yes. I also think is crazy is that we're looking at the T.I. used to date, and now all, all their families are like friends. And I, you know, that's some uh, prohibitions stuff, against it and state law. You know they're different in Atlanta. They're real different in Atlanta. But is anyway, the gas tax, this, this is the, fuel and the, uh, fuel and the funds for that. The reason that T.I. is going into, into the sister like circle. So the first yes. episode, so, um, that is all of that. They were talking about things read that you, happened in read, the last Read the paper, read the and, news. And, and I, relationship the call paper sent out their little freedom ballot. <laughs> and and T.I. Uh, uh, just recently, so I, I read the call paper and then I asked my mom. There was a video of him backstage with some girl. Yes. Um, and he was slapping her hind yeah. parts and stuff. That's what I and you know what? A few years ago, I asked my mom. <laughs> That's what my mom was saying. Her hind parts. Said, oh, let me call Grandma. Right. So, <laughs> right. We're he always was doing inappropriate <laughs> things for any married man it to was, be doing. Yes. So and yes, if I didn't know, I'm gonna tell you here. Here's a little tea. You know, the choices you look into. Of course, you know, we're here to help make your own decision. The lady that was in the video is Tasha Skanks off Grizzly. That is information. Okay. Do with what you will. Do with what you want. Grizzly. He was like, ooh. Anyway. Um, so, we're, we're so that video came out, and so they're discussing mm-hmm. the video, and Ti yeah, says, did. "Well, so now that we have she's talked not about, even mad talk about like, that oh, I was in the video, <laughs> she's mad uh, it was now that we have media. talked about, he was like, I didn't call and the issues that somebody was being nosy um, and putting me on social media. And everybody's out of business, and I didn't get caught doing anything. If you do not, basically he just no room to complain about it. Like he doesn't take a on Facebook. He was like, it angry Facebook. What kind of this is what he said. He was like, what kind of man would be filming somebody? From the crack of the door, he's like, very she, uh, upset "Tiny's not even mad to me because not even mad at me." Uh, in the um, presidential, she had just yeah. found out about. Yes, it. We would just have a conversation, to black especially because one of me and my friends we go 
her early, but I can't like, she's back. She's on today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got out of class. That, that, that was his ass throat drove to me. And I was just like, came and got me. Drove me to Kansas City. Like, would you be okay with any of your neighbors dating a man like you? Because they're watching. I obligated to educate and raise the kind of level. Actually, our age is right. She's around our age. If you're a billionaire, I'm a billionaire. And my neighbor's generation is a billionaire. She said, or. Anytime I watch you, you must walk in the shoes of a minority for one year without access to any of your resources. Like, he'll see you know, Josh, like, if they do stuff. And I'm like, and. Yeah, I realize y'all daughters are watching this. Just young Jack has a bunch of daughters. <laughs> He's a do or situation. Well, he has like nine. Um, and then I got another one that's our broken justice. Most of them are girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm like, it was like, so, well, they y'all do this for me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it, that was said, another. I understand. It's like they don't think about that. See, if you weren't going to vote, I hope that most of them were boys. And now, I got another one. I'm going to be Oh, so that, we've exempted the discussion in portions of voting. There, there are, there is, <laughs> I'll, I'll break in a few more. I think it's said, said, said three dollars. Oh, we hope that you will. Damn. Damn. <laughs> All right. Let's just have some random people. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I got another people. one that's like, yeah, there's a dress health, say, mental health, why they and hunger, I think, and why it's that people have to vote as well. First, why you shouldn't vote in areas like red states and employment rates. I don't think that is, I don't think that is, I think that is, I don't 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 think <laughs> party. Um, um, I got one that says probably a healthcare bill not similar the best or federal. You should just um, tell him oh, to make one similar. Get like it, just you got to use our voices. Federal, 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 big things popping. What is it? Big things popping, little things stopping. It was just going on after you can go clear because I'm tired of you. Local government, make your wife for it. And I just want tidy of when you vote, things change. <laughs> got your own money. We may well, not like, always know. Yeah, that was a yeah, great, great show. show. I know you still get residual, residual checks off of this shit. Uh, another great <laughs> show. Come on, Tiny. If you, you weren't going to vote, yeah, just she deserves something. But you're ready to to vote. Oh, and you weren't going to do it. I just know we hope that she listens to the show and you go vote tomorrow. We hope that everybody goes and votes for Just go. He does not be a voice. Let your voice be heard. If it's just shocking, I don't want to imagine what's there when the cameras are down. You don't close that. Express your voice. Let your voice be heard. You can't of a different color. Or feel like you know really that you registered to vote, to vote and you get to the yeah. polls tomorrow so and well, they say that you so weren't registered to vote request so a provisional ballot the because they are required by law to give you one and you still can vote um well another one basically if you don't know where you should vote voter can go you can get online at vote.org and I believe you put in your zip code vote.org has signed up but I think you can go to Kansas State election boards and I think they can tell you too <laughs> and Obama yeah, figure it out, y'all. Come on, it's no excuse. She you have just just be on your phone. You would be on your phone anyway. You be on your couch anyway. Pick up your phone. Get on Google. Figure it out. Go vote. Go vote. You might as well. You might as well get it. You might as well go vote. You ain't doing that no way. Two o'clock in the afternoon. So yes, go vote. Go vote. Go vote. We can't say it enough times. Thank you for listening. This is Black Beauty Unfiltered. We rest of us. Like you don't know why you're not registered. <laughs> yeah. And so that's yeah. happening. Good night, y'all. I was like, and good night. 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 Good